Hi guys, my name is Ron Wells, and uh, today I'm gonna be reviewing uh, Cradle Point and what this thing is, and how does it work, how does it connect you to the cloud, and why is it so good. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's get started. First of all, in case you guys don't know what is Cradle Point, it's one of it's just one of the vendors that connects you to the cloud. There's different ways of connecting to the cloud. I researched multiple ways of connecting to the cloud it's for different type of vendors and what I found out is the fact that not every vendor is the same and there's multiple ways to connect to the cloud and after you start researching all of the different ways your head pretty much starts spinning in every direction. So let me go ahead and save you the trouble um, and talk about uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about Cradle Point and what comes with the box and what this thing does and why it's so great. So first of all, um, Cradle Point uh, is uh, one of the vendors that helps you get connected uh, from any type of wireless uh, 4G or 3G type of mobile device uh, to the cloud um, using different carriers. They're carry agnostics. Uh, they're carry agnostic, and that means you could pretty much connect any type of carrier inside the unit um, using SIM card and get connected to the cloud. So the question is how do you get connected to the cloud, right? So um, originally when I started you know, thinking about how to get things connected to the cloud, um, I actually wrote a book um, in Software Defined Networking. So if you check out my site studyguide.net forward slash SDN, um, which is the book about software defined networking it talks about different things internet of things cloud um, and beyond but the purpose of this uh, video is to show what's inside of the box of the cradle point and just give you an introduction about um, you know what you could possibly do with this device so to get started what you could do with this device is you could put it in any, any type of vehicle uh, whether it's a bus or a car or anything that moves anything that um, is not that requires that can handle a little break like this uh, and by break I mean cradle point and I don't mean it I don't mean from the standpoint like it's heavy but from the standpoint of you being able to fit it inside wherever wherever it is um, I'm not thinking about bicycles or but although that's probably possible but anyway what I'm thinking about is car or a bus or anything in that nature where you want to have wireless connectivity there's all sorts of parallel based uh, designs wireless designs uh, that you could do with this thing and interconnect uh, your particular device to multiple type of networks um, what this does what this device does great it allows you to connect wireless and wired um, together well, you probably say, well, that's nothing really new, right? I mean, who, I mean, there's a lot of routers that do that, right? Yeah, indeed. I mean, there's a lot of routers. In fact, there's a lot of switches and all that. In fact, I have a 30, this switch. Look, this is a switch. You see how heavy it is? Try putting that inside the, you know, inside the car. It's probably gonna be really heavy, right? So, probably not a good idea. Um, yeah so to make my point clear guys um, Cradle Point there's a lot of a lot of different vendors there's Cisco vendors there's uh, there's uh, a lot of them on the internet and my main concern with majority of the vendors is the security concept I wasn't satisfied with the type of security that I was seeing across different type of vendors and as part of my profession I have to make sure that whatever I you know install and customer premises is fairly secure else well you are probably familiar with Petya and wanna cry and all sorts of crazy things right but anyway that's a different com communication different topic let me talk about this thing this is a cradle point and it's a small box it's not as big as what I just showed you now and it can fit on your vehicle uh, you can install it nicely and um, you could connect it to the cloud and now you may say well uh, Ron Wells please tell me about 
you know, how on earth can I do that? I mean, is there any way for me to do that? Yes, there is a way for you to do, to do that. And Cradle Point allows you to literally interconnect, with, interconnect to your AWS with um, a little software installed on the AWS, sort of like an aggregator, aggregate hub in a way, in a, in, in a virtual environment. And basically that hub sort of acts like a router. So for any of the folks out there, traditional networking folks who are not, who are kind of freaking out and saying, oh my God, am I, you know, how I'm gonna, you know, how I'm gonna learn all those things. Let me assure you, it's not as complicated as Cisco or, check, or Checkpoint or anything else from that standpoint. And it's fairly simple and you don't really need CCIE uh, to do it. Although I am CCIE written certified at some point, but then my cert got expired. But anyway, the, bo the bottom line is it's fairly simple. Um, you connect it to the, it, you basically install a virtual thing inside the AWS, like a little virtual router, and then you install it on your, if you've got a bunch of Linux servers or Windows servers on on the AWS, um, you just go ahead and install that software-defined networking piece on top of your server, and that piece interconnects with that virtual router in, the, in your AWS, and that virtual router goes ahead and connects to this little box, and this little box can do all sorts, all sorts of tricks. It got um, APIs, uh, REST API capabilities for you to be able to pull data. Um, it got uh, resiliency from the standpoint of zones, somewhat similar to FortiGate in a way where you could create zones, combine, combine wired and wireless type of um, interfaces, and um, just be able to have a greater control and you actually see all of your devices on the map. And the best part about it, um, you get all of that uh, from the wireless standpoint, from 4G standpoint. And uh, you could also even interconnect your branch office if you have a wired-based environment. It obviously requires a slightly different model of the router, but in a way, it's quite simple and doesn't require intense technical skills so but yeah that's what I like the most about the, about Cradle Point is that you could combine wired and wireless and still have control of your uh, devices in the field especially if you got a lot of those devices in the field in, inside of a, um, inside of a moving vehicle so um, it, if you have a lot of them, you definitely need to track them and you need to see what's going on. You need to really be able to tell what, what's going on with your device. Is it is it out on the field? I mean, is it broken? Uh, is it still working? When is the firmware updated? All of those concerns I had originally when I started looking at different type of vendors and different ways of interconnecting customers. Um, some of the customers that I, I had uh, previously were asking me, well, uh, can you please interconnect things using VPN or using um, dynamic multipoint VPN or any type of traditional ways, I would say. And yes, although it is quite a possibility, um, there's many other things exist that um, exist outside of the VPN. And I found VPN a bit, mm, well, I should say, not a scalable option. For some customers, perhaps it works, but there's a lot of pieces that become disconnected when you start using VPN. You want to you worry about security from the standpoint of external IP addresses and getting scanned external from the from all those IP addresses from all over the world, scanning your external IP addresses. And on uh, traditional networks inside uh, local premises, perhaps it's great. Um, and yeah, sure, you could build something um, scalable, but Still, it's in my opinion, the entire concept of traditional networking is broken. It's been broken for many years, and finally, people started waking up um, and realizing there's better ways to interconnect things. And well, Cradle Point just happens to be a better way to do that. Now, I don't really talk about many different type of vendors out there, um, but I like Cradle Point simply because, first of all it really helped to solve my customer problem. 
uh, and I run a consultant company. Uh, you can check out the website called networkconsultant.net and I have a lot of customers who have particular questions about you know how to connect how to connect the dots not so much about connecting um, not so much about really a solution a technical solution but how to connect the dots and apparently there's a lot of a lot of folks out there that's simply missing how to connect the dots and I figured okay well perhaps maybe I can chime in my skill set and show people how to connect the dots and so I get customers with all sorts of weird, weird, really weird type of requirements. And I just look at those requirements, analyze them, and do something together. Um, so in this case, I had a recent opportunity to actually look at the vehicle, in vehicle design. And so, you know, after evaluating multiple vendors, I realized that Cradle Point was the closest to um, what I was looking for. Now, that is not to say that is going to be the case for you. Perhaps you have something more cheaper, but honestly, I looked at a lot of vendors, and I'm going to tell you right now what Cradle Point offers. I just simply did not see in other vendors, especially for the type of price you'd be getting. Um, now, other, what I like the most about uh, Cradle Point is the fact that they combine software-defined networking capabilities inside the um, in-vehicle and in-motion uh, Cradle Point box um, and makes it easy to connect to the multiple data centers while while the you know while the you know the car is moving in one direction and all over the place and it's just the whole concept of software-defined networking if you do not know what it is is basically a game changer guys that is not to say that um, it will you will have to worry about you know losing your traditional jobs I talked about that in my book on studyguide.net forward slash SDN um, but it is a game changer and the folks that get with this get with the game of beginning to think in the direction of making uh, networking easier are the, are the folks that are going to be on top of the game but Anyway, that's that's another video. Uh, let me talk about the Cradle Point box. Let me go ahead and open that up. So let's get started. First of all, um, it came with this little bad boy right here. What is this? It's just uh, you know, I'm actually gonna go ahead and open that up. And it looks like it's a car uh, charger with a power supply right here, right? So great. 